Hello everybody and welcome back, I'm Cam Christo and this is the Once More With Feeling campaign in Black Ice. Thank you for joining me in the last episode. We designed our two variants of wonderful submarine and we sent volunteers down here to Spain. They are currently heading east. We can also send one more volunteer, which I will, I will do. You can temporarily join the garrison. Oh, right, you can't merge things the same way you can on the other screen, because of course you can't. You guys, head down to Spain, please. Lovely jolly. Jolly good. Now, what's the difference in these numbers? 4%, 3.1%. Is this rounded? <laughs> Is this rounding up for some reason? Hmm. Is it the amount I've caused? No. Don't know. Don't know what's doing that. Anyway, we've got some men heading over here. Here they are, they're strat redeploying around. They've got no fuel, so they're not going to be the very best tanks in the world. But they will have fuel relatively shortly once we finish these MIFO bill payments, which end in 10 days. So it's not too long, not too long to wait. And yes, in 10 days our, our volunteers for the other side are going to arrive and help out the Spanish Republic, which I'm not overjoyed by. So, our men are now here. Let's see, low org. They can already crush in. Look at this. It's great. We do have uh, country minus 78%. Right, yes, because we are on reserve army, our guys overseas get 80% lower recovery rate, 80% lower attack and defense as well. Okay, so our volunteers aren't going to be... They aren't going to be great. <laughs> Until we actually change that, if we ever actually change that, uh, when we're using volunteers, which we may well not do. But it's still worth using volunteers, because as you can see, we're getting quite a bit. But we're going to try and remain at speed 4, because I know from history of playing Black Ice that you guys really don't like it when I spend ages doing um, volunteers to uh, to Spain and to other places. So what should we do next? Common turn packs doesn't really do anything for us. Um, it's probably finally time for the... Um, for autarky. Let's do autarky and then we'll do uh Goring, I think. I think that's the uh I think that's the play. Good. Alright, get in there. Get in there. I believe. We've got some reinforcements from our, our friendly local local Spanish nationalists. We could also split this wing. Help out here as well. We've got 28 planes there. We should be able to overwhelm them. Let's split this one as well. Send some of them over as well. Just to, to really bring the pain down there. Seems good. Good. We are operating... Uh, there we go. Massive air superiority. That's what I like to see. And over here, we're not really making a huge amount of progress, but we're getting army experience, and that's what matters. Slowly getting more and more free infantry divisions, which I object to. I object to most strongly. Oh no, actually, maybe these are just these ones. It's just they're deploying them one by one. Good. Okay, maybe we won't. Maybe these aren't cheat divisions. Oh, I can tell. Can I switch it? I can switch it. Yeah. Okay. Those aren't cheating divisions. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Very glad to hear it. It's the first September, which means we have once again a civilian economy that isn't completely broken. So let's import some oil, please. Hey, Venezuela. I hear you got some of that black gold. Hey. Um, Argentina, give me some of that chromium. Hey, Siam, hit me up with some of that. And hey, Yugoslavia, hit me up with some of that. Nice. It's not great. Our economy is not fantastic. We need to get more civilian factories. I wonder if I can do that with my laws at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elite officer training, going to no formal, is going to give me 2% more, 2% uh, less consumer goods factories. That's going to be really helpful. That's going to be very helpful. You guys, um, come down here near Madrid, because here is where there is, uh, right, they start with five land forts here, which is crazy strong. Um, here's where there's some nice open terrain to fight in, and obviously we want to defend that airbase that we're using to such great effect right now. So these guys come down south. And right, we've got, have we got enough command power to promote? Yes, we do. So, Rommel or Manstein? I think it's going to be Rommel. Um, because of that superior supply stat. He loses a skill rank. Yes, temporarily. That's fine. He is going to lead here. Let's take a look at him now. So we could assign him now 
Uh, charismatic, if you wanted that extra division recovery rate. Trickster for even more reconnaissance, but we won't worry about that just yet. He probably won't need Expert Delegator. If we have uh, five full 24 armies of tanks, <laughs> I'm going to be highly surprised. Let's just leave it at that. I think this is mountainous. It's just hills. We could probably do some work in there. Let's try and sneak into Madrid. Or fight someone on the way is also fine. We need some more army experience for um, ooh, preliminary war propaganda. We're going to need to do that because yeah, we don't have enough, we don't have low enough war support. We're going to want to do some more military parades. Oh, yeah, he's, got, he's really having trouble defending down there. Let's send some reinforcements. See if we can hold them off. Our guys obviously are really rubbish because um, they're they're just severely lacking in organization because we're a reserve army. <clears throat> That's what's causing a lot of the problems right now. So we've got an easy pocket we can go and get in on up here. Closing pockets is great, gives you lots of commander XP because some of the commander XP is based on um, the the overwhelming nature of the battle. Like if you if you t inflict lots of casualties and take few you get higher experience, higher experience than you would otherwise from that. Okay, you guys, yeah, just closing this pocket up here seems prudent. We're getting army experience even though we're not actually on the front line in this battle. Okay, we're now on the front line, right? I thought that would be a bit weird, getting army experience even though we're not doing anything. So we've got that uh, preliminary coastal submarine design, which we are still working on. Uh, we will want the very best of both of these. Let's keep adding to that as we go. Production of our new submarines has now begun. Looks like we finished building uh, some of these earlier models and stuff. You can just come join this, please. Good. Ooh, experience level on these guys is now getting up there. That's pretty nice. We've also got some air experience right now. Let's see uh, if we want to make some tweaks to our fighters. I bet we do. Fighters being the most important class. Air intercept radar. More agility, more expensive, more a bit reliability. Well, that's pretty good. What about engine? Lots more agility. Ammo capacity. Huh. That's quite a bit more air attack. Ten percent more air attack right there. Hmm. But lower capacity. Um, I feel like a drop tank. We should at least have one plane with a drop tank. One type of fighter with a drop tank. For now, just buffing the engine seems, uh, seems seems great for me. Let's work with that for now. Or maybe we need air experience for... What was I, what was I wanting the army experience for? Something... Some decision. Or was it a... No, it was a focus. Yeah, we need... Um, do, 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 do. For the Condor Legion... We need 30 army experience and 30 air experience. We should have another bit of air experience because our volunteers should be grinding some up right now over here. Yeah, good. You getting air experience? Yes. Slowly, though. Slowly. Hmm, could be a problem. Oh, well. There we go. Clearing them out there. My new guys. Where's the other guy? Ah, he's coming from the south. That's fine. We'll bring him up here. Get involved on these attacks on the outskirts of Madrid. The Madrid outer area here. It's gonna need uh, gonna need attacking too. There goes them. Let's make sure we don't. No, it's fine. I was gonna say make sure we don't move north, but it's not a big deal. Let's concentrate our forces around this nice open plain right here, so we can get organized there. How much organization do our guys actually have? Seven. Good lord. Commercial plastics is gonna really help with deficits. Consumer goods factories down because we have Freon refrigeration. Freons provided a safer, non low toxic alternative to previously used refrigerants. For less consumer good factories, absolutely. freaking lately. I will do that immediately. I'm gonna let that guy recover while these two see if they can launch an attack in here. Doesn't look great. Let's hold off on that for a minute. They have got pillboxes. We'll try and push them out of this tile first. That's fine. These guys now at full fighting strength. We could wait for the planning bonus. 60% is pretty freaking significant. Um, I'd rather not wait. We are going to wait for 200 political power. Unless I want a domestic minister, let's take a look here. We've got a monarchist. Helps with monarchy and fascist support. Fuel gain for oil, not bad. Agriculture, 28% monthly population. Lower equitable pop. Lower consumer good factories. Lower factories in a state. Huh. He's tempting. 
the lower of one percent recruitable pop would take us down to uh, to uh, 0.5, so maybe not. Uh, commerce, no, he raises consumer goods, so he's an instant reject. Lower manpower, lower weekly population. Why? Because he's a xenophobe, I guess. No, no immigration. Uh, more consumer goods, more consumer goods. How about this guy? More decryption. Infrastructure construction speed's pretty nice. Division and naval speed is sweet. Um, or pet projects. No. I mean, the, the, the research speed is good, but there's a lot of downsides in there. It's probably this guy. <clears throat> Resource gain efficiency is, is nice. Um, well, maybe this guy for the political power gain. 37%, but... But I don't think any of those are worth getting right now. Um, how about an economic minister? I think I looked at these guys and decided this guy's really good. Yeah, the 10% civilian factory seems really good. Are we blocked out from later stages of um, the five-year plans if we don't choose Goreng? Let's, let's take a look over here. Has political advisor Goreng, right? We have him in a different role right now. So yeah, we can do these just as long as Goreng is the a political advisor. Right, but we do want to fire him. Because he gives 5% lower factory and dockyard output, which is pretty nasty. I'd much rather have... Yeah, this guy. Look at him. Can only have him later. So I guess we'll replace Goring in, 19, in 39. The consumer goods down from this guy, though. That seems really good. The physical power gain down is nasty. Don't get me wrong. Hmm. I think we first go to no formal training, which will make our troops overseas even worse. <laughs> and then we, uh, and then we maybe get a sympathetic judge in office. Right, you should be able to take this guy out. He's got low supply. Yeah, nice. Driving him back pretty handily. So Gurian, he, sorry, Gurian only has two traits. Is that right? We have more than that. Yeah, he has more than that. They just don't show up for you because they're custom traits. I guess. He can get Panzer Leader 2. Tempted to assign that right away, but we should wait because we need to save our command power for parades and decisions and stuff right now. Yeah, that seems more important. Good, we are breaking through here. Fantastic. And of course, every time we break through, we're getting more experienced divisions. We're getting more army experience. Many good things come. Um, those who win combat. We don't need this. What are, you, what are you telling me about what decision is available? I suppose we could do more more trade. Yeah, let's keep doing the trade negotiations. Seeing if we can uh, get the Dutch on side. Because we, we, we essentially steal all of the British... Um, we steal all the British stuff if they do. What are these? Uh, these are probably a uh, like an event spawn volunteer division because they're red, which to me means maybe they're from the Soviet Union. Could be. We'll see. We're we gonna win this. It's gonna be close. I don't want to lose too much strength here. It's gonna be close. Yeah, no. Call that off. With full planning bonus, we could definitely break them. Let's, let's just wait on that. Right. So we're not importing enough oil just for our daily upkeep right now. So we better fix that. Double. Double is enough. Double is actually more than enough. How about just one more factory? Can you stay positive? Yeah, looking okay there. Good. I mean, our tanks aren't currently in combat, which no doubt helps. There's autarky. That helps. Lack of resources penalty goes down. Now, do we want this? There's more consumer goods factories, which I really don't like. Um, what's beyond it? More stability. More political power, more stability. Gain research slot. Holy Christ. Okay, we've got to do those three in that order immediately. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. We need that research slot right freaking now. Absolutely. Let's go speed five while we get this guy's, guys' uh, planning bonus back. That should be fine. Good. Have you guys, have we got any air races available? They're already being used in, uh, up here in Lyon. Well, we don't really need to fly over Lyon right now. Well, they are still active over in the north, I guess. I should. I should. 
Okay, on the home front, things still looking fine. Um, don't want to spend this army experience, although I normally would, um, just because we are um, we're saving it for that focus. There's our 200 political power. Let's go with no formal officer training. I mean, why would you need to train your officers anyway? Which gives us that lovely swing of 4% uh, faster. Fast 4% better factory and dockyard output and 3.5% more uh, research speed. That's really helpful. It's going to be grand. We also need a uh, tank designer. Preferably before this research finishes. So it can actually apply to this this, uh, this research. Let's just go take these guys out. Actually, we have full research. We have full bonus right now. Oh, but giving them the command to kill something. Let's let them let's let them fill out. Just love it. Max third is 47 now. Down 60 because we're not training our guys. We will, of course, set all those things back to their maxes when the uh, let's attack while those guys are still there. Just just a flex on. Them. <laughs> we'll set them all back to their most you know most military. When we're uh, we're actually going to war, let's get one more oil import. Yeah, we're losing fuel right now just because the army. Wow, it uses 2.6 thousand a day just to have these tanks engaged in a battle. That is that is crazy. We're gonna really struggle in this campaign. We're gonna have to build a lot, a lot of synthetic refineries and get Romania on side as soon as humanly possible. Yeah, call it off. That isn't working. Let's try. Let's try breaking through further down, maybe encircling uh, Madrid. It could work. How many men have we lost so far over here? Probably not many. Yeah, 500. That's not too bad. Do, 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 do. Not too bad at all. Okay, well, I'm going to call it a part there because this is obviously a uh, day on which you get two episodes. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for the next episode of the wonderful... What I call it? This time with Feeling Campaign. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.